Well, tonight, our I-Team is investigating Ticketmaster troubles. A local congresswoman leading the way here to get some more answers from Ticketmaster about the Taylor Swift ticket fiasco. As you know, many fans are now left scrambling and faced with paying several thousands of dollars for tickets. Consumer investigator Jason Knowles getting answers tonight from Ticketmaster Jason. Cheryl Ruby, despite problems, Ticketmaster says the vast majority of Taylor Swift tickets were sold to verified fans, not bots. However, a local congresswoman wants Ticketmaster to come into Congress. This is many fans are faced with paying third parties sky-high prices. I've played her music in the hospital during procedures. Sabi Beg is one of Taylor Swift's biggest fans. Beg, who lives with a rare muscular dystrophy disorder, met Swift on her reputation tour. Beg and her mom tried to get ADA, Americans with Disabilities Act, seating in Chicago for the latest Eras tour. Beg is hoping to hear Swift's new hit, Antihero. I have this thing where I get older, but just never wiser. Beg says she tried to buy seats through Ticketmaster's Verified Fans program for $299. Well, I was in the queue for five hours. She had no luck. Then Ticketmaster's site crashed. She tried the next day as a qualified Capital One member and... I had them um, in my cart and they were ripped away from me. Beg, her family and her caregiver are searching on third-party sites and only finding ADA seats with high price tags. Sky-high prices? Yes, they're 2415 1973 No matter what kind of seat you're looking for, third-party sites could be charging several thousand dollars for Taylor Swift tickets. Beg showed the I-Team posts where people say they accidentally purchased ADA seats and now they want to sell them. Others are scalpers who obtain the tickets. Ticketmaster tries to prevent people from fraudulently purchasing ADA seats by asking buyers to agree to these terms and conditions. It's super frustrating you know, disappointing because we just don't know what to do. But why is this so upsetting for you? Because I, I love seeing her live. You know, her music brings me joy. There is no joy from 9th District U.S. Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky when it comes to Ticketmaster. Very few companies that deal with these tickets. She wants Ticketmaster to improve its sales process for future events. We want a complete explanation of the problems that we have had. So we um, are calling them in. Schakowsky is chair of the Consumer Protection and Commerce Subcommittee of the Energy and Commerce Committee. She and a bipartisan group of congressional leaders sent this letter to Ticketmaster asking them to come in for a briefing and give a full explanation of its sales process. The letter claims that during the Taylor Swift era's tour sale, millions of fans endured delays, lockouts, and competition with aggressive scammers, scalpers, and bots, adding that it raises concerns over the potential unfair and deceptive practices that face consumers and event goers. I think in many ways, consumers are really held hostage. On its website, Ticketmaster says a new record of fans were seeking tickets and claims that less than 5% of the tickets for the Eras Tour have been sold or posted for resale on the secondary market. Ticketmaster adds that its verified fans program eventually did get tickets into the hands of real fans, not bots. However, Congress questions Ticketmaster's bot management, saying the company's own website admits that even though 3.5 million people were pre-registered as verified fans, there were another 3.5 billion requests from bots or people who didn't have codes. I feel like they could have handled it better and not done so many pre-sales at once. Ticketmaster says demand is so high, Taylor Swift would need to perform a stadium show every night for the next two and a half years. Ticketmaster also now saying some verified fans will get invitations to have another chance at getting tickets before Thursday. Ruby Cheryl Schakowsky, spokesperson tonight, saying that Ticketmaster has agreed to come before Congress, so we know that. There's no date yet, but as you can be rest assured, we will be watching this and following the story. Yeah, the world will be watching because yeah. there's so many fans who want to see her, and that was a really good insight and perspective with that one fan talking about the challenges and how much how much time she spent five hours on the phone yeah a lot of time and, and, and now she still... has to pay three or four thousand dollars yeah wow talk about right. issue of fairness all right jason yeah. great story thanks so much More to come.